Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Vicious, and today I'm coming at you with a new product review. I'm finally getting the time to do a full-fledged video review on the Antline Audio Mod Mic. This is a really awesome product that I asked personally to be a part of so that I could test it, evaluate it, and review it because I was very excited about the idea because I've actually done something like this a long time ago on my own, but now it's being professionally manufactured at a nicer grade and quality. So I wanna go ahead and show you the product, tell you all about it, and let you decide for yourself if it's worth getting or not. So real quick, let me explain what it is. It's just a simple microphone, but the design concept is that it can clip on to any existing pair of headphones that you have to transform those headphones into a headset. The design is very simplistic, but very versatile, and thus very powerful. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get behind the camera and show you the pieces of equipment that you'll get, and then we'll jump into the benchmarking section, which is very important, so you'll know what to expect for performance, and then we'll wrap it up into a conclusion. So let's go ahead and get behind the camera. Okay, so I've got stuff laid out here on the white carpet, so I think that offers the best contrast, hand holding the camera, so forgive the shakiness of it and only having one hand to work with. What I've got right now in front of me is, this is the Mod Mic 2.0. This is basically the original first concept that was produced and mostly out in the market right now. It is a boom microphone that is flexible. This thing can be articulated to any size, uh, you know, degree that you need it to turn at. On the end of it is a pop filter covering an omnidirectional microphone. And then here on the base of it, this is gonna be the, the mount or the anchor point. The other half of that anchor point is this right here. This is the main anchor and what it has is a magnetic clasp on one side. On the other side is a self uh, adhesive. And so that's the product mostly on its own. And this is how it actually becomes a very powerful product. Here is a pair of Audio-Technica A700 headphones or monitors, and these are a pair that I used to use all the time, and I used to use my Zaleman clip-on mic. Now what I was able to do with this mod mic is I went ahead on the left side, and I've attached one of those anchors using the adhesive. It's on there very, very strongly. It will not come off unless I forcibly try to get it off. And now I have that magnetic end on the other side, and you can't really tell, but you see there's ridges those bridges help you uh, position the microphone properly and keep it from spinning around. So we'll grab the microphone now. And watch out, it just it will pull itself into place. So now this headphone is now a headset. And you can move it because of those notches to reposition it. So you can move it in an upward position to move it out of the way when you don't want it. Or you can, and then you can put it down when you're actually going to use it. And of course, you can take it off completely when you don't want to use it. So that's the concept of the mod mic, really in a nutshell. It is just a modular microphone that connects to your headphones, and then you use those headphones as a headset. Why that's important? That's important because there's a heck of a lot more headphones in the market than there are headsets, and generally speaking, headphones have a much higher quality than you'll find in headsets. So it gives you more product choices, and you get a higher quality final product. So let me go ahead and get to the computer screen and start doing the benchmarking for you. All right guys, it's time to do some benchmarking on the microphones. This might be the most important part of the video for you because this is what's gonna determine for you if the quality is worth having, it's better than what you have now, if it's something you'd wanna use. So to benchmark, there's two important things. You have to have some kind of uh, constant variables. So we're gonna work on that, we'll have that constant. And also you have to make sure that you're testing your criteria properly. One of the things I'm going to be doing to make that happen, and I re this is probably one of the biggest takeaways you might get from this review, uh, or any other review for a microphone like this, is I, I bought myself an external USB sound card. This one has microphone and headphones. It's a C-Media chipset, and I bought it from Amazon for like $8. I recommend to everybody who gets this microphone or another microphone similar that you go purchase this because it's very cheap and here's what you're going to gain by having this. With this in your hands, you gain, first of all, some flexibility. Here it is right here, it's very, very tiny. I can use it with my laptop, my PC, I can use it on a Mac, I can use it on anything. I get to plug this right into the front USB port of my computer. If I didn't have this, I'd have to go all the way to the back of my tower to plug my microphone in. That would be very, very, very difficult for me considering the way my computer is set up. Also, if I yank my cords or something, this will just pull out in the back of the computer or something's gonna get broken. 
Now, the main reason I had to do this is because I noticed when I've reviewed other smaller microphones in the past, some people have performance issues. They don't get the same kind of performance and volume levels that I would have on my own hardware. And that's because even though you're using the same microphone, you're using a totally different chipset on your sound card, different amplifiers, different, different pickup levels, and so it wasn't consistent. But now if you're willing to go spend a few dollars to get one of these, you can guarantee that you have the same performance I have. I'm going to be doing a bonus video, maybe today, maybe sometime this week, where I'm going to talk about the Mod Mic 3.0. And one of the reasons that was not sent out uh, to mass production so early was because a lot of people had volume levels with uh, not working properly. But this right here works perfectly with the Mod Mic 3.0 as well. So I maybe will send a suggestion to them that they add this. So here's what it looks like. We're going to plug that into the front of our computer. And again, this was by Saiba, it looks like. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of the video to where you can buy this from. That way you don't have to go hunt for it and you know you get the same one that I have. As far as the benchmarking goes, I am going to be benchmarking the Zaleman clip-on mic that I always used to use. This is what I used prior to having the mod mic. This clips onto your cable of your microphone, uh, your headphones, and then you can use that to have a microphone conversation. I will be using the Mod Mic 2.0, which is of course what we're benchmarking and reviewing today. And I'm also going to be using my Blue Yeti Pro hooked up to my sound mixer. This is going to be the very, very expensive high-end product. This is going to be the previous product I used to use, and this is the one we're reviewing. So we get a good spectrum of test here. So let's go ahead and plug these in and get them tested out. What I'll do, obviously, is when I get to the part where I am using that microphone, I'm going to cut out the audio in the microphone that I'm wearing and replace it with the audio that I'm recording. And we'll be recording using Audacity on the computer. So headphones need to go on because we'll go ahead and test the mod mic first. So I'm going to go ahead and clip it on for you guys so you can see how that works. And I'm going to adjust it. The closer I get this to my mouth, the better my signal to noise ratio is, which means it's closer to my voice and it'll pick up my voice quick, uh, much more easily and closer than any other noise in the room, which means I can turn down the gain on the microphone and get better performance. I'm going to plug this into the sound card. And plug this into the computer. Test, test, one, two. And now you can see that the levels are popping up on here when I talk into the microphone. One, two, one, two. And actually, I'll go ahead and, for the sake of this benchmark, put it up to 100. Testing, testing. All right. So what we're going to be recording with, we're going to be using Audacity. It's a nice free program you can download, and it does great for recording, so you don't have to go buy expensive software. Inside of Audacity, I need to go to my preferences and make sure that I select the right microphone to record with. And what we're going to do is start recording, and I'm going to cut the audio out of the recording microphone that I'm wearing and turn in the microphone that we're using for testing. This is a mic check, mic check one, two. This is the Antline Audio Mod Mic 2.0, approximately right in front of my mouth to the side a little bit. We have our levels set to 100 right now, and the sound wave looks really nice. We'll go ahead and cut this test and move over to the Zaleman clip-on mic. Okay, we'll save that file so that we can edit that and save it into our project later. So we'll save that to my desktop. This is the mod mic. We'll start a new one. And now we're going to grab the Zaleman mic, which I need to find on my desk. Now the cable on the mod mic is generous, but the cable on the Zaleman mic is ridiculous. And I'm just going to simply unplug the mod mic and plug in the Zaleman. I'm going to go back to the audio panel here and look at the recording devices, verify that this microphone is working properly. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. And it is. So the way this one works, the Zaleman clip-on, it's going to clip onto my headphone cable like this. We still have our levels set at 100. I can already tell you this is not going to be nearly as high quality because the signal to noise ratio is going to be crappy. All right, here we go. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. This is the Zaleman clip-on microphone right now running 
off of my clipped on cable. I can tell just from the waveform that we're seeing in front of us that the volume levels are not nearly as high as the mod mic, which means you'd have to amplify it, the gain more, which means you would pull in more noise from your room. So I can tell you just from this preliminary test that the Zaleman clip on mic is not going to be nearly as efficient as the Antlion Audio mod mic. All right, and I will save that. This was the Zaleman. And last but not least is going to be my professional recording microphone. And then we go ahead and get that going. All right, now we're using my good microphone. Let's pull this up near us. This is the final test. This is my professional Blue Yeti Pro microphone, which is hooked up to my Yamaha MG82CX mixing board. So this one is not running off of the USB sound card, but this is running off of XLR. And then to align in on one of my sound cards. The waveform looks good, and this is going to conclude our three-way comparison benchmark test. And we'll go ahead and export that. This is the Blue Yeti. All right, so let's go ahead and sum everything up now in the end of this review. As you can see, the mod mic works really well I'm sure that those benchmarks when I plug them into this video later and I hear them for myself will show that it actually is a very large improvement over other cheap microphones that you can clip on or put on your desktop. But probably not quite what you're going to get out of a professional recording microphone, but you have to think of the versatility that you get. The idea that this connects to any pair of headphones that I have and I can obviously right now if I was looking at this camera I'm still using this microphone when I have to be attached to my desk and I'm using my standalone recording microphone. So this is going to be good for any kind of gaming where you're mobile. It's going to be good for voice chat. It lets you be natural at your desk. You can be where you want to be looking the way you want to look. You don't have to be tied to your microphone because your microphone's tied to you. The idea that you can just detach it when you don't want it is awesome. And of course, you don't have to take it off completely. Say you're just on a quiet period where you don't feel like talking to anybody. You can just kind of put it up and out of the way by moving it up into a different position. So the microphone works really well. Again, I think that I recommend very, very much that you go and get something like this. You can always test it with your own built-in sound card first and see if you get good results. But if you go ahead and purchase that, then you know you're gonna get the results that I showed you here today. So overall, uh, this is one of my favorite products I reviewed as far as ideas go. It didn't take a lot of money to like make something like this. Obviously, they probably put a lot of money into the design and production of it. But the idea itself was the most important part of the product. And the idea is amazing and the product is amazing. So if you guys need to make yourself a nice headset out of your favorite headphones, then this is the way to do it. Go ahead and look at Antline Audio's website. I'll put the link in the description of the video. Check out their products and see if they have something to offer that interests you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it both entertaining and educational. This was Vicious and I'll see you next time.